Welcome to this tutorial on installing MAMP. So if you've come to this tutorial, you probably already have some type of prerequisite knowledge as to what it takes to start displaying dynamic web pages. And as you know, one of the things you need is a web server on your local machine. Well, we have two different types of flavors for this. We have IIS, which is Internet Information Services, which is Windows based. We have an alternative, Apache, which is open source and free. If you're creating dynamic content, you're also going to need some type of scripting language like PHP, and you're also going to need some type of database. And we're going to be using MySQL in this instance. So instead of installing all these separately, there's a very easy way to do all this. There's a package called MAMP, which stands for Macintosh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. This is a bundled package that makes managing your web server and the components with it very easy to do. So let's go ahead and flip over and see exactly how we get this up and running. So here we are, we're at MAMP's homepage. If you go to MAMP.info, it's going to take you to the homepage and you're going to notice that there's two different styles that we can choose from. There is a MAMP Pro, which is the blue elephant and there's a personal edition of MAMP. For this tutorial, we're gonna use the personal edition. So let's go ahead and click the download now button. It's gonna start downloading as you see here. I'm gonna cancel this because I already have this downloaded to my desktop. Continue to let yours download. It is a large download, so give it some time and then come back and ca catch up with us when you're done. So once you have it, the disk image saved to your desktop, you're gonna expand it when it opens up, you should get two folders that look like this. You're going to have MAMP and MAMP Pro. Again, we want the personal edition of MAMP. So all you have to do is take the folder, drag it to your applications, and let it go. Now, this might also take a second as it is a pretty large you know, files and folders. It's almost a gigabyte in size. So just give this a minute and then catch right back up with us. Alrighty, this is just about finished. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and start navigating to our applications folder to launch MAMP. So just double click the shortcut here. Span this out a little bit. And we're going to go down to MAMP in our applications folder. And then you'll see the icon with the name MAMP next to it. We're going to launch this to start running MAMP. Now you'll automatically see this little spinning wheel and what that is, is it's loading the MySQL and Apache servers. Now if everything goes correct, these should go green momentarily and there they went. Also, it, flat, it takes you to this MAMP start page. Let's just talk quickly about the start page. What the start page does is every time you launch MAMP, there's a predefined option within MAMP that, that launches this page for you. So the start page gives you information about the local host, or the host, I'm sorry, and gives you information about the port number, the username, password. Also it gives you, if you come up to PHP info, it gives you all the information about the version of PHP that you're running. We're currently running 5.3.5. Also, it gives you a handy GUI, which is a graphical user interfa interface, to manage your database with. This is where you'd create and store tables and databases. So it's really easy to use and once once we work through some more examples we'll go ahead and touch on this a little bit more. Also it gives you a SQLite manager. So these are just some of the features within MAMP. So now that we've seen a couple of features that MAMP has to offer, in the next tutorial what we're going to talk about is configuring MAMP because currently we're running off the port 8888. This is not our default Apache and MySQL ports, but in the next tutorial we're going to touch on that and cover exactly what you need to do to get that set up. Touch on a little bit about the document route, what it is, and how it works. For the remainder of this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through some of the gotchas, so to speak, of MAMP because sometimes this installation doesn't go perfectly. Even though it was very easy, as you just saw, for me to get MAMP up and running, 
I'm just going to take you through some of the problems that you might incur that way in case you do incur these problems you know how to fix them. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the window map and now we've gone green on both our Apache and our MySQL servers. Well Macintosh comes standard built in with Apache so sometimes the Apache might stay the Apache server might stay red if this happens to you one of the reasons could be is that you already have an instance of Apache running you can check this easily by going to Apple system preferences and then come down to the sharing folder and there should be a checkbox for web sharing if this is checked that means you have an instance of Apache running if I had this checked Apache would not start correctly I don't so that's why it turned green but if you, yours doesn't start this is the first place to check uncheck this checkbox and you should be good to go now what happens if my SQL server an Apache server still doesn't start and you've unchecked that web server check or that web sharing checkbox and you're still a little confused about it well this is pretty easy fix too what you need to do is you need to delete you need to come to your applications folder delete MAMP completely by just right clicking move to trash and then what you would do is you'd come in to your finder select go from the menu utilities activity monitor and within the activity monitor for the Apache server what we would search for is HTTP D so if you had a corrupt install or something went wrong what you would need to do is you would need to come into this activity monitor and, and quit all the processes for the HTTP D once you've done that this should clear up all headaches that you have with your Apache server and will allow it to go green but first before you try restarting and installing MAMP or anything else that you're trying to do go ahead and search for my SQL ID so if you just type in my in the search box it should pop up pretty quickly this is the, the MySQL server that is running so what you're going to want to do is quit this process as well once you do that go back to your MAMP install drag it to your applications folder I'm not going to redrag it because I've already done this then launch MAMP again and these should definitely go from red to green if you wanted to see your start page if it didn't pop up for some reason you can always just hit open start page and that will launch the start page for you and bring you back to the page we talked about with the PHP my admin actually let's just take a look so again this is the start page so in the next tutorial as I mentioned we'll take a look at configuring and setting up our Apache ports and our MySQL ports hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you soon